I have said before that any reporters that I catch trying to lie or misrepresenting me in any way will be getting called out on it, but I will give them the opportunity to defend themselves on a live stream with me first. So the article titled, Why Alt-Right Vloggers Are In Scotland To Defend A Nazi Dog is an excellent example of that, because uh, none of the people that came to interview me were actually alt-right, so it's interesting that he chose that title. I reached out to Joe Bish, who was the author of the article, and asked him if he wanted to come on a live stream and defend the things that he wrote. He initially did accept, but he had a prior engagement and couldn't do it that night. I then asked him the next day and he couldn't do it. And then I asked him the next day and he wasn't available. So at that point I kind of realised that he was just stringing me along and he never really had any intention of coming on a live stream in the first place. So I gave him his chance, but he essentially backed out. So I've decided to make this video instead because I did say before, any reporter that I catch being sketchy with me is getting fucking dragged. I'm not going to cover the entire article, just the bits that I find interesting, because a lot of the article is just covering information about the trial that everyone already knows, so it's just going to be a few select parts that I look into. For example, the opening sentence, Mark Meakin is not very funny. You know it's going to be a good article when the very first sentence is a lie? Because I am funny. I am extremely funny. I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably the funniest guy that you've ever met. He is a YouTube comedian which is a bit like being a Facebook philosopher, or a Twitter politician, or a vice journalist. Still, teaching a dog to respond to phrases like gas the Jews isn't banter, no matter how much you and your 4chan warped edgelord brain would like to think it is. Actually, it is banter, because it's called a joke. You yourself in your own article even refer to it as a joke, and jokes and bants go hand in hand. So it was a joke. No matter how much your CNN warped soy boy brain likes to think that it isn't. People are obviously upset about it. YouTube could have just deleted the video and we could have all got on with our lives. But now it's a thing. And when something becomes a thing, the opinions come out. And there's no more grating opinion than the right wing free speech can't you take a joke crew. I love how you think fighting for free speech is a grating opinion. You'd think as a journalist you'd be a little more concerned about what happens to free speech. Just because it's not your opinions being censored right now, doesn't mean it won't happen to you one day. For example, right now in Britain, the House of Lords just voted to restrict press freedoms. So it can happen to journalists, and I bet when it happens to you, you'll care then. First they came for the edgelords, and I did not speak out because I wasn't an edgelord. I was a soy boy. Mark Meakin has a lot of tattoos. Among them are the WASD keys used to control video game characters, a character from the game Limbo, the logo of EVE Online, a space game, and the character No Face from Studio Ghibli film, Spirited Away. At first I was thinking, what the, what the fuck do my tattoos have to do with anything? But then I realised that he was pointing out that they're all gaming related, because he's trying to spin that whole Gamergate lie that all gamers are uh, alt-right Hitler-loving misogynists. So you managed to see some of my tattoos and obviously did a bit of research behind them to find out what they meant. But there's one that you're missing, isn't there, John? And I'm pretty sure you know what one it is. It's probably my most famous tattoo. One of my oldest ones that I get a lot of shit for today. It's really, really strange that you didn't include this one in the article and didn't mention it at all. It's almost, it's almost like you ignored this one on purpose. It's almost like this one was purposefully excluded because it didn't fit your fucking narrative. In one video he sports an Adventure Time t-shirt, a show on Cartoon Network. That's the thing about these guys, these fervent nationalists. Yes, I do define myself as a nationalist and I love saying that out loud to the far left because it's like showing a fucking red cape to a bull. They start screaming and shrieking because they just totally don't realise that being a nationalist in Scotland means something completely fucking different here. The whole world isn't America. Don't be so ignorant to other people's cultures. Supporters of free speech, people who want to be allowed to say the N-word and pretty much only that. Really? Really, you, th you think that that is what supporters of free speech want? They just want to be able to say nigger all the time and only that. Well, you better tell that to the Zimbabweans, the Turks, and also the North Koreans, because they don't want free speech so that they can finally speak out and rise up against oppressive regimes. They just want to say nigger. 
Mark Meakin is another symptom of this juddering hypocrisy. His YouTube page is filled to the brim with all the same awful opinions about feminism. Awful opinions on feminism, John? Maybe I should follow your example then. Do you remember earlier in the article when you said this? The Fuhrer has been covered by all your favourite right-wing media guys. Alex Jones, Paul Joseph Watson, and even Canadian far-right real doll, Lauren Southern. For those that don't know, Real Doll is the brand name for those realistic sex dolls everyone's talking about. So to follow John's example of feminism, it is completely okay to brand a woman as a literal sex object if you disagree with her political opinions. Also, I'm pretty sure that two of the top executives for the company that you work for are currently suspended while sexual misconduct allegations against them are being investigated. Yeah. Sit down, soy boy. Opinions about feminism, Trump, politics, Islam and political correctness delivered, as ever, through the scope of a teenage boy with gay jokes, cancer jokes and a general willful misunderstanding and simplification of pretty much everything. This was probably my favourite part of the article, John, because from the get-go you were misogynistic, you lied by saying people were alt-right when they weren't, You misrepresented pretty much everything that I'm about. You tried to spin a narrative by lying through omission. And on top of all that, you claimed that people only want free speech so they can say nigger. Yet, I'm the guy that doesn't understand anything. Meekin, or Count Dankula as he's known, is not a dangerous criminal. Thank you. Can you tell my prosecutor that? He's just a lame guy with an almost popping YouTube channel. That's kind of true. But at least I don't work at Vice, who, like all children, thinks offensive equals funny 100% of the time. The cartoon-watching right-wing gamers of the earth should not be given so much airtime to make memes of themselves, which is the only thing they truly desire. Well, if that's all we want, then what's the problem? But I do appreciate you being realistic here. Most journalists try and say that we want genocide and we want to keep women as sex slaves, but I do appreciate you being realistic and honest here. So, when I'm finally leader of the right-wing death squads, I'll make sure you're spared. And the only style of mucky attention that will ever state their jejun, 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 what the fuck is that? Lust for guffawing attention from other weak-armed, keck-praising, snot-nosed losers. That extraordinarily mature closing statement. It's helped me figure out why this guy's so angry. Dear Diary, the cool kids still won't let me play with them. They make fun of my man tits, my feminine penis, and of my open relationship with me, my girlfriend, and Tyrese. I sit alone in my room, drinking soy milk, respecting women, and calling everyone I don't like alt-right. The cool kids all make the spiciest memes and have big YouTube channels. Well, my YouTube channel only has one subscriber, and it's my mum. I can't make memes, I'm not funny, I'm not clever, and I'm not talented. Which is why I work at Vice. But I'll show them. I'll show all of them. Just as soon as I make one final upload to my YouTube channel. Well, this is my last video. It all has to come to this. It's Count Dankula on YouTube. Everybody should subscribe.